All right, uh, welcome Retro PC Durham. Chris here with another box. So this is a uh, a laptop that I got again through the the donations. I do some advertisements, uh, advertisements that I that I run uh, to uh, ask for donations for old PCs so I can refurbish them and and get them to um, into charitable donations. So this machine was donated by a gentleman who gave me a couple of PCs, one PC and two laptops. Um, the PC is still in pieces. I haven't been able to put that together to use yet. Um, and then uh, this was one of the two laptops that was in, in con condition that could be refurbished. So this is an Acer, an Acer Aspire 5630 series, a BL50. Um, original configurations was a, uh, a Core, 2 du Core 2 Duo, a uh, Core 2 Duo uh, 50, T5200 processor, which is a uh, uh, 1.6 gigahertz and I, that's a dual core obviously um, it's got a 15.4 inch uh, screen um, it originally had a 120 gig hard drive uh, which I think was either missing or bad uh, and then the original memory that was installed was just a single gig of RAM um, but it does have uh, network capability um, it also has Wi-Fi capability uh, and Bluetooth but I I don't think the Bluetooth actually works on this. Anyway, so we're going to boot up here now um, and uh, and get this thing up and running and show. So um, basically what I had done with it, this was the kind of the, the check in terms of clean the whole system, took it apart, cleaned it inside and out, repasted the processor um, and uh, to make sure that it would get good thermals because these old systems, they're, you know, they need to be clean to be able to run well. Um, from a memory perspective, um, I had a couple different memory dims. I uh, was trying to mix and match in this one. And for some reason, I could not get a uh, four gig of memory to install um, properly on this system. I was only able to get, um, I was only able to get three gig working. So a two gig stick and a one gig stick and uh, nothing else would, nothing else would go. Um, for the disk drive, again, I believe, I believe there was either no disk in this at all. Yeah, there was. There was no disk in it at all. Um, but um, the guy that donated this, he donated me a couple other, a couple boxes of extra stuff, right? So I got some bunch of mice from him and old webcams, and he actually included a bunch of hard drives. And I believe those were actually the hard drives from some of the systems he donated to me. One of them, it, it wasn't for this box, because it had some other software that ob was obviously not Acer software um, installed on it, but it was running Windows 7. And that Windows 7 install, I was able to upgrade, do the in-place upgrade to Windows 10 and get that all activated and up and running. Now, once I had that all done, I did wipe that hard drive and do a fresh install of Windows 10 now that the system has that digital license. So I've got that fresh Windows 10 install in here. Um, as well. Um, and then for things I had to get up and running on this one, there was a, even Windows 10 wasn't able to recognize the camera and it wasn't able to recognize the card reader. So I did go on to Acer's website and find the Windows 7, um, I believe it was the Windows 7 or Windows Vista drivers and got those up and running on this system. I believe the original OS for this was a Windows XP Media Center edition, uh, and then it was like a Vista Ready maybe as well. The camera's kind of cool here. I don't know if you see, I'll bring it down here, but it actually s swivels. So you could have it be pointing out to record something or be pointing in to do your, your webcam, you know, talking stuff. That's kind of neat. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a, um, I don't think I've ever seen a laptop that had that, that kind of setup. So that was kind of interesting. So you'll notice 
obviously the Windows uh, install is moving very, or the Windows load is moving very slowly. Um, that is because this, again, um, I don't have a, a lot of SSDs on hand to use in doing refurbishing on these systems. So I am I am left kind of with having to use spinning disks um, to to get them up and running. So while the while the processor and the memory is enough to be able to handle, um, you know, doing a load for Windows 10, um, a spinning disk, especially one that's running at like 5400 RPM, uh, it's slow, right? It's going to be slow. Um, so you'll have to pardon me again. I, I didn't plug my mouse in this time here. Um, I'm a track point person. I use ThinkPads all, all, all the time. Um, so I'm, and I'm very not good at using, um, very much not good at using touchpads as a result. <laughs> I don't know if it's as a result or just, just happen to be not good at using touchpads. So, um, I talk about that all the time. I'm like, I hate, I hate touchpads. I don't like them at all. Um, if I can't use a track point, I'd rather use a, uh, a track ball actually, um, or a, or a regular mouse. Um, but we're just going to skip it on this one. So I'm just going to load up the system here. Um, again, you can see how slow it actually goes. And that and that's basically all going on the, the hard drive trying to load stuff up here. Um, so uh, we got that T5200 processor. It's a dual core, um, 1.6 gigahertz. Again, that three gig of memory, uh, which is fine. This one was a, uh, it was a 32-bit install of Windows seven that I had pulled this and upgraded from. So I didn't bother changing it since I've only got three gig of RAM anyway. There's no benefit to having, there's not really any benefit to having a 64 gig, 64 bit operating system installed on the system. Um, if I was able to get uh, four, if I was able to have the four gig of memory that I'd like to have in this, um, I would do the 64 bit install just to get the, 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 you know, you can, I know it can handle it. Uh, from an optimal perspective. Um, so again, what these systems are designed to do when I'm refurbishing and repurposing them is really to get something that someone who doesn't have a computer at all and needs to be able to get online, right? Just to be able to connect, uh, to be able to connect to the online, you know, uh, connections for their social assistance or for online learning programs or for, um, you know, just being able to do correspondence, um, being able to connect up to the internet is a, almost a necessity in in our current you know the, the current way our, our our society is set up and you know some people just don't have you know you just don't have the opportunity you may have a phone right almost everyone's got a smartphone now but there's only so much you can really do on a smartphone um you know you you can't you can't really do online um online learning right effectively on a phone you can't uh, really create your cv on a phone um so there's some stuff that that you know really having a computer to sit down at um, is a benefit. So um, you know the laptops especially here are great. One of the main places that I like to do donations with is the Children's Aid Society. So you've got you know foster kids um, or kids living in you know halfway houses or group homes, um, and uh, you know not every high school and school board out there provides kids with Chromebooks. I mean, I know it's a big push now, but it's not everywhere. So if you're a kid and you're trying to go to school, um, having a laptop is almost a necessity um, or you got to use the school computer lab or something. So having a laptop now that I can bring it to school with me, I can bring it to the library. I don't have, I don't have anywhere I can set up a computer because I don't really have a home, so to speak. So this is a great alternative and it's free. Is it awesome? Is it great? Are you going to play video games on it? Is it going to run Fortnite? No, 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 no to all of those questions. Um, but it is going to be able to handle getting you online and getting some online capability. Um, just to show the example here, we're going to do the old, we're going to do the old YouTube check. Now, I can't remember if I've gone and done on this one before. So, oh, we can't seem to load the, can't seem to load the launcher. What's going on here? And we'll just go to YouTube.com. Oh, it loaded up now. That could have just been a hard drive system uh, issue again. So let's check it out. If we're in dark mode, that'll tell me that I've already done this once. Again, it, the loading time here is, you know, going to be a little slow. I'm not sure it might be. This is a 100 meg network card. So that might be the problem. It's probably more like it's just the hard drives working overtime to try and get stuff going on here. So let's take a look at the, um, I don't know, let's look at the Wonder Woman 2 official trailer posted by one media who knows if one media is even supposed to be posting this trailer but they're doing it 
So we're gonna we're gonna play it here and see what happens. Um, Let's suppose that you're writing a really important email. I don't know. We're gonna go full screen here and see what happens again. The video card on this obviously is gonna be old as all get out, so it's gonna have trouble with this. Um, I don't think that we'll be able to do full screen video at anything higher than like, I mean, 480p would be a blessing. I bet it's going to be lower than that. Um, we're having trouble even just getting full screen to uh, come up and running here. Um, if you want to get that Grammarly. Okay. The ad's done here. So we're going to see what we're running, uh, settings wise and we'll just wait for this to go because it's certainly going to be taking its time maybe i can if i pause this can i i don't even know can i get the settings going if i pause it so we're in 480p now i'm just going to play the 480p i'm not even going to bother trying to go to the 720 because i'm pretty sure it's going to be kind of Yeah, it may not, it may not be coming through that well, but it is, well, did it auto, it auto went up to 720. I'm pretty sure the 720 was not working well. So I'm just going to switch to the 480, uh, which I think is going to be a more appropriate speed. And we'll see how well this works. Just want to show off, you can get an idea for the multimedia capabilities, kind of stresses it'll stress the system pretty well in terms of showing what it's capable of handling. Um, but if you can, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty clear now. Um, so if you can get, if you can get uh, a system to be able to handle 480p, right? Like you're not going to be needing more than that really to be able to get online and do something um, for online learning reading, streaming some stuff. Um, you're not going to be playing video games on this one, but it's going to get you where you need to go. Yeah. So this, this, this one's ready to go, um, for, uh, for a donation. Um, you know, some kid will be able to take advantage of this. Maybe it's going to get two or three more years worth of use out of it. And, you know, for me, I, you know, I think that that's good. Uh, that's, that's better than nothing. It's better than it going to the, um, it's better than it going to the junk pile right? Uh, and, uh, and getting, and getting trashed. Um, you know, if that's where it's going to end up eventually anyway, at least, you know, at least for it to get some, uh, some usage. We'll get this one downloaded here. All right. So shut down and I'll just do the quick show off here. Unplug the network connection, unplug the AC adapter and I don't know if it's still, it's, it doesn't want to shut down. Maybe I'm not sure. There it is. Now it's shut down. So here's the bottom showing off uh, battery, um, hard disk drive, the memory is installed here along with the CPU. As I mentioned, I did clean and repaste that. Um, there's a slot here, I believe to hold another wireless card or something. I can't remember exactly what was in there. Um, your DVD multi-reader, on the back, there's a modem, a couple USB ports, power port, an S-video output and a VGA output. Fancy. Uh, some more USB ports, network connection, uh, and a, a multimedia card reader. And then I believe this is probably, a, again, this this is probably card bus, maybe PCMCIA. I don't remember. They're so... Um, old. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the box. This is the one that's ready to go. On the front here, you got the little switches, the Wi-Fi on off, right? You can flick it and turns on. This one for the Bluetooth, I think is broken. I'm pretty sure the Bluetooth doesn't work at all. It wouldn't go very well. And then you've got some outputs here to be able to plug in headphones or something as well. So that's the box. I'm ready to get donated. 
Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Again, if you've uh, if you ever had one of these Acer uh, Spire BL fifties or or the fifty six thirty series, uh, please uh, make it know in the comments if you had one, what you used it for, work or play or business or whatever it was. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it good? Was it junk? Um, share it with the uh, with the rest of the the community here and uh, keep the conversation going. I uh, hope you are finding good use for your systems. Uh, out there in the wild keep things up and running for uh, uh, as long a usable life as possible and uh, until next time take care have a good day